Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstones. The you will teach will be a great example to us, brothers. Hopefully you can see me. I'm doing this a little different. It's off my old phone. I got kicked off my other page, so I can't upload to Prism in a live video right now. I tried to do it through my other page, but it keeps going up to my page that's locked out. I guess they know all your pages, even if you got different email addresses. I guess they know all of it, man. You can't put nothing past Esau either. You know, the scriptures speak about how he's wiser than Daniel. Wiser than Daniel, man. So even if you put in different uh, email accounts, it still links up to your, 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 your page still on prison. You know, I don't know why. I'm trying to create a whole new page with a whole new email so I can, you know, go live on my second channel, which is... The car Kassad, Prophecy and Promise is the second one. But they won't let me do that, so I'm just gonna have to go live and just eat the data and, and hopefully upload it through uh, Wi Fi later on. I'm just gonna go into a few things, man. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? I was shot by Shimmy Carker Dutch. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, teach well, being great example to his brothers. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect individuals scattered abroad. Okay? Peace. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Risking their life and their freedom to preach this truth, man. Out here on the highways and byways. Every weekend. Day in and day out throughout the weekdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Fridays. And still come out on Saturdays. This is for you. This is for you people on this chart right here. Okay, I'm gonna make this, you know, we're gonna bring this out every single time, man. The 12 tribes of Israel scattered abroad. Okay, Judah, which is the American blacks. Benjamin, West Indian blacks. Levi, the Haitians. These are all the children of the Lord, man. Judah is the tribe that the Lord came from. Our Lord, who you call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, and Yahweh Shai meaning deliver. He delivers. Yahweh Shai. In the ancient Paleo Hebrew. See, his name couldn't be Jesus because the letter J wasn't invented until 1524. So we're bringing it out for my father, Yahweh, who is his father. And my big brother, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Simeon, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala, the Panama, the Mayans, Gad, the Native American Indians, in which you stole Esau Edom, so called white man, stole this land from the Gadites, and Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Gad, the Native American Indians. Reuben, Sem Seminole Indians. Asher, Colombia, the Uruguay. Issachar, Mexicans. For our Mexican brothers and sisters that don't even know that they got a power, man. They, they, they don't even know that they're related to us, man. Neftali, Argentina to Chile. Twelve tribes of Israel, man. The scriptures speak all about the twelve tribes of Israel. These are the only people, and the elect out of these people are going to be saved in the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Okay? And I got some notes. I just want to start off with some of my notes. I've been waiting for a long time to bring some of these notes out. So let's just hope that the Spirit leads us where the Spirit leads us, man. You know? 
let's go to uh um uh, yeah. I'll start off right here then. The evil in America, I called it. The evil in America, man. You got all types of things happening in this world, man. You know we have war going on with Russia. You know America's at war, really. You know, they're giving all these bombs and different ammunition to uh, Ukraine. When in reality, you're really going to war with Russia too. If you're providing them with bombs and things that can kill them, that means you're at war with them also. No matter what the media says. See, we're not looking into the media. We're looking into history. We're looking into prophecy. I'll start off at Psalm 64 then. And see where that leads me. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 64. Now start off at Psalm 64. Okay. Psalm 64. And I can, I'm already... Says two through seven on my notes. Well, let's just see where it takes us. We're gonna start up at Psalm 64. I'm gonna take this other note out of here because I don't want to read that one yet. I might have to. I might put it in my other pocket just in case. I'm gonna bring this out, man. Bring out the word of the Lord. You have about Psalm 64, two through seven. The next one is Isaiah. Okay, the book of Isaiah. We're going to bring it out. You know, usually I just, uh, I go through the spirit, so if I jump off the notes, then it is what it is, man. This is Psalms, chapter 64. And I'll start at one. It says, hear my voice, O God. In my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. The enemy. Who's the enemy, man? These wicked elites. These people that are have our lives, have a chokehold around our neck. Through their laws, through the things that they do. Through their laws, through their, uh, their wicked decrees, man. Okay? The wicked laws, the wicked things that they push forth in the earth man with man and woman with woman and all these things unseemly to the Lord they hate the Lord the people of this earth hate our power man they hate our God because our God is not contrary to what they believe because this is ancient Rome all over again man before Rome got took out last time it was going through the same situation hunger man with man woman with woman Men having sex with little children, just like America, man. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to, uh, let it be cool for pedophilia to be one of the, you know, LGBTQs. That's going to be another one added on to the long list of abominations, man. They're trying to protect pedophilia. They got it in their TED Talks. Pedophiles, man. If you got kids, then you're against that, man. You're against these people pushing laws to protect pedophiles. A pedophile, they, they say that a pedophile is just a regular person. He was always born like that, and this, that, and the other, and all this bullshit. Well, one plus one is two to me. It may be three to some people. 11 or some people, all you just add the one and the one. No, one plus one equals two to me. And it's never going to change, man. So these people on this earth, they engulf, they indulge themselves in wicked behavior, man. And then they don't think about it until you ask them what the truth is. What is truth? Truth is, you was born with a penis. Truth is, you shouldn't be going inside another man 
in his rectum inside his ass acting like you you're cool because uh everybody else says it's okay truth is the lord is going to destroy you from that for that man pursuant to uh leviticus chapter uh i think it's 20 pursuant to the uh scriptures man you know pursuant to the scriptures man you know we can go back into all the uh we can go back into all the things that the lord said was not cool and everything the lord said was not cool you people are doing this is leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 and i and I, i'll just hit that real quick if a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them man surely the lord said surely be put to death your blood's going to be upon you man because you know that's not right with the lord man that's not right with what he's bringing man the lord don't like all that bullshit man and all you see these days is a bunch of bullshit from people a bunch of crap man Everybody thinks that uh, this is okay and that's okay and as long as everybody's all cool with it and I don't care about it. As long as everybody else is cool with it, I'm cool with it. No, man, the Lord don't think like that. The Lord's going to destroy you people, man. He wants to kill you. He gave you up to vile afflictions and vile things in order to destroy you in front of his elect. To let them know the difference between righteous and unrighteousness. To let them know the difference between the wicked and the righteous, man. You know, two men just got out the car, kissing each other, walking down the street. You know? This place just has to, it just has to go, man. You know, we're, we're, we're fucking tired of this place. We're tired of walking around in this evil-ass kingdom. We're tired of walking around. We're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Everything in this earth is wicked. Everything in America is wicked. This is Psalms chapter 64, verse 2, and it says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. The secret counsel. I was watching a movie the other day. Not a movie, but a series, The Witcher, right? And it had a big ass council of uh, witches. Well, that's just like the Illuminati, man. They had a big council and they would always talk about things and things that were coming up and how they would change the world and all these things. And if this person was in their way, I was watching The Witcher. It's a series on Netflix. And every time I seen that council and that black man and all those other people sitting around, the, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, this is a bunch of witches. That's America, man. That's what they do here in America. A bunch of witches and warlocks sit around a round table and think about how they can manipulate your minds into thinking that uh, the things that are against the most high are the good things. They want to manipulate your mind into thinking that all these things are the good things of the earth. But these things don't bring forth life, man. One plus one is two, right? Say if you had a bunch of women on the island. How are they going to produce babies? But Esau Edom is making it to the point where these days he's changing it up. He's like, nah, I'm going to put organisms and, and these things inside of men so they can have babies also. Esau, even the so-called white man, is the devil, man, that, that the Bible speaks of. Everything that he does is against the Most High. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, right? You can start there. Or 2. What is that, 2 Thessalonians 2? Let me go to 2 Thessalonians real quick. Just to prove that point. Everything that he does is against the Most High. Everything that he does is against the Lord, man. Everything that he does, man. 
he's against the Lord, our power, man. He's against the Lord, and he's not hes not caring that he's against the Lord. He don't give a fuck if you know, if you care about it or any of that. He don't care. He don't care what you care about, man. You know? He don't care what you care about, man. This motherfucker is against the Lord and everything that the Lord does, man. Well, we in the... Uh, Second Thessalonians, so that's in the New Testament. Hold on. It's Lockheed, brothers. We're going to get it, though. Right after that, Philippians, right after that, 1st Thessalonians, let's get 2nd Thessalonians, 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2, and, uh, and it reads verse 3, and it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, okay, and there's been a falling away, man. All these people have fallen away from the Lord. They don't think about the Lord. They don't pray whenever they go to breakfast or lunch or dinner. If you bring the Lord up to them, they'll get mad and they'll start saying all types of weird shit. Like, oh, you, you're always talking negative and all this other stuff. Why you got to talk about God all the time? That's because this world is ruled in wickedness, man. And light has come into the world, man. So these people hate darkness because their deeds are going to be reproved by the light, man. Who's the light? Yahweh Shah, who you're able to call Jesus Christ. That's our light, man. That's the only one we need. It's Yahweh Shah, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. It says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself? Who is himself? Esau, Edom, the so called white man. That man of sin. That's being revealed, man, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3. Verse 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And that's what they do. They show themselves that they are God. Yo, I'm God, man. I can make the blind see again. I can make a man who doesn't have a baby have a baby. I can make the man that way. I can make the man just like the female. Put her organs inside of him so that he can have a baby. I can do these things. Do their science. Do all their bullshit, man. You know? Verse 4, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Or that is worship, so that he is God, set up in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, okay? And, and that's what they do. That's what they do all the time. This is Psalm 64, verses 2, and it reads, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Those are those wicked people, man, that oppose everything that's above the, uh, that's, that's the Lord, man. Those wicked people. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in lying in an evil matter. They consume, they commune in laying snares privately. They say, Who shall see them? They commune in laying, they commune, meaning they get together. And laying secret traps for the Israelites, man. They lay secret traps for us. Secret traps, man. They commune and lying snares privately. So that they can seek out the poor, seek out the righteous, man. 
You can go to the same thing in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. And it's going to tell you about how they think towards you, man. They say, oh, this dude thinks that he's the son of God. Let's prove his worth. Let's prove what he's talking about. Let's prove that he's the son of God. Because we know that we're not the sons of God. Esau, Edom, they know that they're the devils, man. They know that their system and their economy and their whole situation is about to get knocked down, man. Psalm 64 and 4, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They don't fear. They don't fear that they're shooting at the perfect, man. They don't fear that the Lord is going to come back and destroy him because it's already written that he's going to destroy him. They're like, man, fuck it, we're going to die anyway. This is what Wisdom of Solomon says, man. Let me just get that. Because they know that they're going to die anyway. They know that they're nothing like us. This is Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 2. Verse 1, it says, For the ungodly said reasoning, the ungodly. Who's the ungodly? Job 9 and 24 reads that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And if we go back to the accounts in Genesis chapter 27, I think, whenever uh, Esau was blessed with the, the sword and Jacob was blessed with the, the fruit of the land, you know, Jacob or uh, Isaac told Jacob that he would he would actually, you know, he would have the he would have the birthright, man. So Esau, Edom, their land's gonna end, their their uh, kingdom's gonna end, and Jacob's gonna he has hold of his heel right now, man. They know that we're coming up. Why do you think they overturned the Roe versus Wade thing, man? Because they know that their women are are are, are they're deleting a lot of babies, man. You know, because they like a lot of black men. So those young white women are, are, are dating those black men and they busting off in them way too much for the white men. To the point, to the point where they got to overtow, they got to overturn this thing. They're like, nah, we was trying to kill black babies, but now we killing more white babies than black babies, man. No, we got to stop this shit because we want one pure race. Just like the uh, the woman that you so-called black women, you take your babies to, you you hurry up and have a have a baby and you have abortion the next day. Oh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to get my baby and throw my baby in this uh, dumpster or some plastic box so that I don't have to worry about it all. You're gonna live the rest of your life in in, in tor torment, man. Unless you're just an evil ass witch ass bitch, man. How many, how many kids have you killed, man? How many children have you went and dropped off in that box down there, man? See, this is the condition of the battle. This is what we're fighting against, man. That's why these people, they see us more with the white women than they see us with the black woman, man. You know, because the black woman, she has a mouth on her. She's a witch. And thirdly, she don't care about her children, man. She'll treat the children... Like they're the dad. She'd treat the children like they're the dad, man. Like, hold up. You evil as hell, this, that, and the other. Whooping the hell out of the kid. Throwing the kid in a freezer somewhere. Killing the child. Doing all types of evil shit, man. Because she's wicked. And she has animosity towards the dad. So if she can't get to the dad, then she's going to take it out on the kid, man. And that's how you bitches are, man. And all you bitches going to die real soon, man. The Lord is coming. And he's going to destroy you women. And you women going to be in the streets looking for a real man. But a real man ain't going to find you, man. And you're going to get destroyed. You're going to get raped 70 times in the night. 70 different penises up in your ass, man. You're going to be dead. Because you fucking refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, man. Because you keep killing your children. Keep doing everything that's against the Lord, man. You know, I don't know why the Lord wants me to speak about that. But you women about to be in a really bad case. And this is what the devil thinks of you, man. I'm reading Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. This is what he thinks of his life and your life. Let me read through it. 
Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verses 2. And it says, For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath of our nostrils is a smoke and a little spark in the movement of our heart, which being extinguished, they know that they're going to get extinguished, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. And our name shall be forgotten in time because after a thousand years in the kingdom, the Lord's going to distinguish you people. He's going to just disintegrate you, man. You're all going to go in some pit somewhere and you're all going to be burned, man. Ain't going to be no more white folks left, man. Thus saith the Lord of the scriptures. Take it up with the Lord, man. Take it up with the Lord. It says, and our name shall be forgotten in time. And no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our life shall be passed away as a trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away. They know that their time, you look in that word time, their time on this earth is very little, man. You know, a thousand years. To us is, is but one day to the Lord, man. <laughs> so their time is going to pass away. Like, he's already getting rid of them, man. It says, For it is fast sealed so that no man cometh again. Verse 6, Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments, and let no flower of the spring pass us by. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered, like you are. You, 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 you crackers, you white folks are withered, man. You're withering away. It's mostly white folks behind these bridges and shit that's all poor that, 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 that's in these streets, man. It ain't, it ain't us, man. You know, it's mostly the white man. His people being withered away because the Lord's doing it, man. Verse 8, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part in our voluptuousness. Vol voluptuousness. Let us leave token. And, and that means pretty much like they're 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 like the, like Jacob gave or uh, Isaac gave Esau the fat of the land, man. For the time being, for a little bit of time. So they have the fat of the land. They have the gold, the silver, the resources. They got all the resources to go and steal this and steal that and steal this and steal that from different countries. They go into different countries and set up their government and their kingdom. Just like they had to do, they tried to do South America. Uh, was it, uh, not Brazil, but it was like Maduro and, you know, their president. They tried to set up a new president. That's why they going over to Russia right now. I'm like, yeah, man, we ain't fucking with these Americans, man. These damn Americans are evil. You know? And that's what they going to do. They evil, man. It says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Verse 9. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse 9. Let none of us go without his part in our vol voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion, and our lot is this. Verse 10, and here's where it gets it, man. This is to you Israelites, man, you 12 tribes of Israel. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, Hispanics. This is what they think against you. Verse 10, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and 10, let us oppress the poor and righteous man. Now, 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 think about this. The poor and righteous man, the poor, you look into that word poor, that means somebody that don't got nothing. These crackers said, let us oppress the poor and righteous man. Let us oppress the poor and righteous man. Listen to this, man. Let us oppress the poor and righteous man. Let us not spare the widow. They ain't sparing none of you women that ain't with no uh, husband. That's why you got Section 8s, 
That's why you got all these things, man. They ain't sparing you. You think it's good for you, but it's actually killing you, man. It's actually killing your community. Killing your whole vibe, man. You know? It says, let us oppress the poor. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. They want to lie and wait for you righteous people, man. They're doing things according to the law, man. A law of Lehau Bashim Yahushai. They want to lie and wait for you, man, that, that love the Lord. Okay? It says, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean contrary to our doings. Okay? He upbraideth us with our offending the law and objective to our infamy the transgression of our education okay and we don't we don't like your education everything that you're teaching our kids it ain't it ain't gonna help them i remember being in school and i'm like man what am i gonna use from this shit that i can use in the real world man i'm not gonna be able to use anything what am i gonna use from this you know i'm not gonna be able to use this shit you know Slokia.